In this video, we'll discuss an engineer's role within technical assets within plant maintenance module. As you can see here, here's a process flow for um, plant maintenance. Here are technical assets. Technical assets are directly linked to procurement and the maintenance data. Technical assets are a piece of master data. And they are the starting point for the plant maintenance uh, module. All work will be based off technical assets. From here, we're going to look at technical assets right here. More detail. So, technical assets come from procurement. You have to procure an asset from the procurement department. And then, functional location needs to be created, or equipment needs to be located. And then, optionally speaking, you could create bill of materials, tools, configuration management, permits, classes, catalogs. These are all parts of the technical asset. And then you will link this to the maintenance data. Now, we're going to go in more detail and show you what the engineer actually does. Here's the engineer's role. So the engineer is not in charge of procuring, that would be the procurement department. The engineer will find out that his request to buy a new piece of equipment has been approved. Piece of equipment could be a new turbine for a power plant. Once it's procured in and has been uh, received, GR'd into the system, um, the engineer will have to do a series of things before create, uh, finish, uh, creating his technical asset. First thing he'll do is, he or she will do is identify all task lists using T code IA05. Either they will create a task list relevant to this piece of equipment or use an existing one. The next point is to create measurement points, which are meters. So if you buy a, a turbine, Maybe you want to have me to record how many revolutions there's been, or maybe you don't, it's not important. Next would be the bill materials. For measure points, it's IK01. Uh, For bill materials, is a T code CS01. And what you want to do about the bill materials is uh, <clears throat> make sure that the bill materials against the, is created for this technical asset. Easiest way to load uh, bill materials for new assets is to uh, have a load program that is uh, and from an Excel file, and your vendor will provide you with all the bill materials, and then you just need to have some sort of consistent load program or template that your vendor prov puts the data into to load into SAP. Next thing is a warranty. If you want to do warranty, if there's warranty the item, is the T code BGM1. And if you have technical drawings, technical documents, it, the T code is CV01. So the first thing you need to do as an engineer is first go through these five points right here. Do you have task lists? Do you have measuring points you need to put in? Is there a bill of materials? Is there warranty information? Or is there in technical drawings? Once you finish these five, then you go create your uh, equipment. The T code for creating equipment is IE01. Within IE01, there is a tab that says that connects it to the material. So you could put the material number in the serial number, which you get from your GR. Once again, IE01, as you create equipment, if you wish to have a direct link to your GR, you will go within the tab of the IE01 and look for the tab that has the material number and the serial number there. Once you create the equipment, then you go create the maintenance plan. You could already have a maintenance plan you could recycle from other uh, similar equipment, or you could create a brand new one. The T code is IP01. Once you create your maintenance plan, you have to start the maintenance plan. The T code is IP15. You must start it or nothing will happen. Once you start your maintenance plan, you install your equipment. It's very important you follow this process flow. You first check these items here. That's your supporting data for your technical asset. 
and then you create your maintenance plan or use an existing one then you start and if you already have an existing one you have to update your maintenance plan to restart with this new equipment and include it from there once your equipment is started the maintenance plans all the data is going in SAP you could install it now using T code IH018 once again the T code is IH08 you could install your equipment to the desired location from there that is the only responsibility the engineer has engineer would uh, immediately integrate with operations operations will identify maintenance requests and create notifications saying something's wrong with this piece of equipment. Now, if the technical asset's not done right or is not there or he gets errors trying to create notification, which means there's something wrong with this asset. You just bought a new turbine. It is not working. I am operations. I'm using this. I want to report the issue. If there's some sort of issue with the master data, he or she should know to re talk to the engineer about, hey, you missed a step here. Maybe you didn't start your maintenance plan or wrong task list or you installed it in the wrong place. It could be all sorts of things. Okay? You also directly in integrate with the planner, the engineer. So as the you start your maintenance plan, the planner for all the work will see right away, oh look, there's a new piece of equipment. It requires level of effort, this much level of effort from electricians, let's say, and plumbers or whatever positions you need. So then he or she will see that he has to forecast preventive work, plan work for this new piece of equipment you just, the engineer created. Use it, they'll use this T code. But it's not important because you're the engineer and this is all you have to care about. From here, the planner will then create work notifications based on this. So if there's something wrong with the way you started your plan, it'll be reflected here. Right away, the planner will tell you, look, I forecasted your work. There's too much preventive work for this piece of equipment isn't that's too much labor or there's not enough I believe it will break down earlier and from here the process goes on but whatever the rest of the process here is not as much responsibilities as it would be the planners or the operations this is all you need to know